My project for this week was to improve our rendering of volumetric materials, namely clouds. What's a volumetric material, you might ask? An easy test to see if a material is sparsely volumetric is to see if you can cover it in saran wrap. You can think of this saran wrap as a metaphor for a shell of polygons. This coffee machine? Polygons. This chair? Polygons. The smoke above this pot? Sparse volume. The fire coming out of this lighter? Well, I won't try, but it's more suited to volume rendering. In real-time graphics, our visual effects traditionally have been constrained to use polygons to represent everything. We make them semi-transparent, rotate them, scale them, and animate them in an effort to mimic volumes. But polygons don't always do a material justice, and they give away their 2D nature when it comes to modeling the passage of light or rotating around the effect. One alternative is to use a technique called ray marching. I spent this week implementing a volume ray marcher in Unity and tested it by recreating some of our effects from our app. As you can see, the effect fully supports light direction, self-shadowing, and can model different cloud patterns, sunlight colors, and scattering color. On top of that, the effect is natively 3D and can be rotated around much more convincingly. But I don't want you to come away thinking this technique is only good for clouds. That's just what I had time for this week. The same technique can be extended to make better looking explosions and dust clouds, control smoke and fluid simulations, forge impossible abstract shapes, or create just about anything that you can express with math which is pretty much everything.